Good evening. This is Who Is. I'm Miss Eileen at Shaler Northfield Library. Joining me tonight is a magical guest, Harry Houdini. Let me tell you some things about Harry. Harry was born March 24, 1874 in Budapest, Austria-Hungary. He died October 31, 1926 in Detroit, Michigan. Harry worked odd jobs to help his family as a young man. He started doing magic at the age of 17. He and his brother Dash were the brothers Houdini, a magical act. Harry met his wife at Coney Island. She became part of his act. Her name was Beth, and they started their own magic act together. Many famous performances from water torture chambers to making elephants dis disappear is what was in their act. One night before a show in Montreal, Canada, two young men visited Houdini backstage. <clears throat> Rumor had it that Houdini was invincible to blows to the body. One of the students decided to test out this rumor and punched Houdini in the stomach. A few days later, on October 31st, 1926, Houdini died from a ruptured appendix. So Harry, may I call you Harry? Oh, Miss Eileen, I am thrilled to be here tonight. I, I just want to say hi to everybody out there in television land and, and face tube land. And I am just thrilled, thrilled, thrilled. And you are looking good. I gotta <laughs> say, I've seen you, but I've never seen you looking so well. And, and of course you can call me Harry. Well, thank you. I just want to make sure because Harry isn't your real name, is it? No, Harry's actually not my real name. Uh, my real name is Silent. Uh, let, me, let me explain, let me explain. Pretend that we just met each other, okay? And we, we, we've known each other a long time, but pr pretend we just met each other and you ask me my name. Go ahead, ask me my name. What is your name? You see, that, that's my real name. That, that was my mom and dad. They were jokers, jokers, jokers. And so my real name is... Now you're thinking, who is this guy? I mean, you want to know literally and figuratively because I'm just ignoring you. So that's why I had to change my name to Harry. I'm kidding ya. My name's Eric. It was, it was Eric Weiss, my name. Okay. Yep. Okay. Now, some people have called you a magician, but that isn't a name you like so much, is it? No, I, I, I think when you think about who I am professionally, uh, instead of magician, I like to think of myself as a brain surgeon. Because you know how everybody always says, well, it's not brain surgery. So apparently, brain surgeons are like way up there. So, so I would prefer if when you speak about me, you say, and now introducing Harry Houdini, the brain surgeon. Uh, oh, you're so funny. No, I'm funny. Here's the deal. No, I, I prefer to be called an escape artist. Okay. Hey, in addition to being an escape artist, you've done a lot of other things. Some people say, that you've made up a lot of these things. So I have some questions for you. You've agreed tonight you will tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, right? I will, I will. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna lay it all out there. This is the exposed Harry Houdini. Go ahead. Okay. <clears throat> True or false, have you successfully escaped from handcuffs? I have. I have escaped from so many handcuffs you would not even believe. I mean, Scotland Yard, uh, uh, other big famous police groups that you can't even know and I can't even remember. In fact, I actually brought some handcuffs tonight so that I could show you that I can escape from handcuffs. These are handcuffs which means that you put a hand in one side, all right, and as you can see, I'm putting my hand in one side, and then you can see I'm putting my hand in the other side, 
Now, Miss Eileen, and, and I, I wanted to say hi to our camera person and director and producer uh, and, and special best boy grip, Miss Kylie. Hello. All right. <laughs> now, Miss Kylie and Miss Eileen. Yes. Do I have a key? No. Wait, no. 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 But I can say the brain surgeon word, and I can escape from these handcuffs. Okay, let's I see can. you do that. All right, now sometimes it takes a while because because you know it it just does like it's just one of those things. <gasps> Look at that! Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> and what I like to do when I'm escaping is I like to sing a song about magic. You can do magic. You can have anything that you desire. Magic. Look at that. Oh, my. So, oh, thank you, Harry. Don't or that great me. Doris Day song. Remember Doris Day? It's magic. Anyway, these are the cuffs. Okay. Woo. All right. Okay, now, besides yeah. that. You know, wait, wait, wait. Uh, <laughs> the other thing is, you would mentioned something about an elephant before. Go, go yeah. back. Go back to that. You said that I made an elephant disappear, right? Yes. I, since we're telling the truth, I got to be honest about this. A lot of people think that it was like a really big elephant. And pe people reference that. They say, well, Harry Houdini made an elephant disappear. Made an elephant disappear. But uh, the elephant was just this big. Oh, okay. And uh, I had a Michigan State hoodie on. And I just put him in my pocket. I just wanted to be honest. I just wanted to be honest. Okay, thank you. Now, true or false, you've successfully escaped from the belly of a whale. I have, which is nuts. A lot of people don't believe this is true, but it was 1911. Okay, that's way back in the day. And there were these businessmen, they were all men back in the day, in the business, and they were, I don't know what business they were in, so don't ask. I think, I'm not sure what, is it computer business, I think. I think they were in the, uh, electric cars, maybe. So, so they challenged me to escape from the belly of a whale, and I said, "Who do you think I am, Jonah?" <laughs> and you know, so you know, I uh, we we had a laugh about that, but but and I did. They handcuffed me and they tied me up with all kinds of things, and uh, and I escaped from them, and they stuck. In the belly of a whale, and, and I escaped from it. So that's true too. 1911. Wow. I remember it well. Okay. Now, true or false, you've successfully escaped from Aunt Bessie Lawrence long ago about a butterfly she once saw flying in her backyard. Okay, so <laughs> I do have an Aunt Bessie Lawrence, right? And uh, she does tell long stories about butterflies and I would like to say that I was able to escape from her long story but I was not I had to uh, feign an appendicitis attack so I was not and she still kept telling the story so uh, no that that's just a rumor because I don't think that's possible. Okay. So, another question here. True or false, you were the first person to fly an airplane over Australia. I was! I totally flew an airplane over Australia. A lot of people uh, thought that it, uh, a remote control airplane, you know, all oh. the way over Australia. But no, no, no. I really did. I wanted to be an airplane pilot, right? And, and I thought, well, first thing I'm going to do is I, I'm going to fly from the United States over to Great Britain, across that big body of water, the Atlantic Ocean. But that Lindbergh guy, you know, he was already on that. So I'm like, well, what can I fly over? What, 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 what's big enough that I could fly over it? And, you know, you know, I don't know if you know Miss Ng. She works yeah. here. Her mouth is a big area that one could maybe fly over and no one has done that yet but i did fly over and was the first person to fly over australia so that's true yep okay 
Now, true or false, you invented, invented the classic game Jingo. You know, a lot of people think, and again, because they think that I'm magic, that I invented the classic game Jingo. Now, Jingo, we all know what it is. It's a game, and uh, it, is, it is like bingo, but it's more fun. And uh, I'm not sure if I'm holding it upside down or right no, side up. because you're holding it what, the correct way. Okay, cool. And what it is, is uh, it, it's like bingo. It's named after uh, Gary Grimm invented this decades ago. And uh, it was not me, and all props to Gary. He, he went home uh, to his final rest in April this year. But he named it after his wife, Janet. So that's why it's Jingo and not Bingo. Oh. But it's fun. And I hear that uh, you guys play Jingo online on Mondays with Miss Kathy. Yes, thank you. Yeah, you do. It's Food Jingo coming up this week. I heard I read your website. Okay. I know what's going okay. on. Okay. Yep. Now, no, that was not me. Okay. I did not invent Jingo. Next question. For yeah. You. True or false? You yeah. invented a diving suit that can be taken off underwater. I did. I absolutely did. Because... Um, well, first of all, I, I thought it would be great, and I did get a patent on it, and I, I might have... Oh, yeah. Oh, wait. I actually have the plans here. I don't know if you want to hold that up or whatever, but yeah. Um, because sometimes when you're underwater, you might get into a little bit of a jam, and uh, you really need to escape from those heavy diving suits, right? Because they're heavy because they keep you down underwater and everything. But this is one suit, and you were able to take it off in pieces. Top half, bottom half, all that jazz. Yeah, I invented that. Wow. Well, very yep. nice. Yeah. I also invented uh, the Oreo cookie. I don't think I believe that. <laughs> Actually, Hydrox was first, which is Hydrox weird. Hydrox was first. And that's true. Yeah. Yeah. By four years. So weird. <laughs> so. so weird. So, okay, Harry. So. Hydrox, the Hydrox cookie inventor, uh... Flew over Australia second. That's I'm going to take your word for that. Yeah. Is that true or false? That's false. Okay. <laughs> I mean, as far as I know. All right. Yeah. So, Harry, you've done some scary things. Why all this danger, Harry? Is there anything of which you are afraid? Okay, I'm actually going to answer this seriously, okay? Because I, I, I know you like the jokes. You, you know, I, I feel like... Uh, David Letterman, like, I always got to be on. But, but here's the thing. The one thing that I'm afraid of is that when I do a trick, okay, when I do an illusion, they are dangerous oftentimes. But I'm prepared for that, and I know what's coming, and I've trained for it, and I've practiced, and so I believe that I can do it safely. I worry that someone will see a trick that I've done or read about something I've done, and attempt it and get really injured. So I just want to throw out a cautionary uh, note to everybody because that, that would really grieve my heart because I love people and, and I wouldn't want anybody to get hurt trying to be the great Harry Houdini. Okay, so a lot of people know that you are dead. Most people know you are dead actually, but you have said that that hasn't stopped you from working. What are you up to now? Well, um, uh, just the other day, just the other day, and, and this is neat, this is kind of neat, just the other day, I was able to escape from this salt shaker. Yep, right here. Can you imagine that? What about you, Miss Kylie? I escaped from this salt shaker, and I'm not talking about unscrewing the top and coming out well yeah that's what i did but i was <laughs> inside this salt shaker so that was pretty neat i was also scheduled to be at the minnesota state fair this year but uh because of of the, the covid pandemic i had to push that aside and i did some online stuff instead because you know i i lived in appleton wisconsin i love wisconsin and uh i i went to the university of wisconsin that, that's not true but, but I'm a big Badger fan, so, and that is true, that is true, yeah. But yeah, so I've been doing uh, uh, a lot of online stuff, I escaped from this salt shaker. Okay, so what about the future, Harry? What can we expect you to be doing next? Well, and th this is kind of neat, and I'm sure you're all familiar with Dancing with the Stars. <laughs> 
I'm going to be on the next season of Dancing with the Stars. <laughs> right? I know. I'm pretty excited. I'm kind of excited I'm going to be dancing because, you know, I, I, I have magic feet. <laughs> yeah. So I got that going on. And then um, I, I don't know if you're familiar with uh, the rapper and poet Tupac Shakur. Um, it was rumored that he was dead and he, he actually is dead. And so, but the two of us are, are going on a tour together. Um, you know, just because we're dead doesn't mean we're not still cool. Uh, that's the name of it. it it's, it's wordy <laughs> and it's been hard fitting on t-shirts unless you're kind of a, a person of size. Uh, so we're going to come up with one of those uh, things where you just take the letters and like the front, the first letter. I can't remember what that's called. An acronym? An acronym! <laughs> we're going to make an acronym of it. Uh, so that, that's going to be, that's going to be pretty neat. Now the other thing, the other thing I, I want to, and I, I wasn't going to reveal this, but you've kind of, you've asked me some tough questions. And I've tried to be honest with you. And I have been honest with you, except when I was kidding. But uh, there is a rumor, and I there's a rumor that I actually live inside the Magic Eight Ball, and I'm here to tell you that I do. And so when you ask a question of the Magic 8-Ball, it's Harry giving you some advice. Hey, to wrap this up, before we go, can you do a little trick for us? I absolutely can. I, I, what I would like to do, what I would like to do is anybody can disappear. Right? Okay. Right? You know, mm -hmm. anybody can disappear. What I'd like to do is transform. Okay. And I, anybody can transform. I mean, you have the, uh, the Beauty and the Beast guy, you know what I mean? You have like uh, that uh, Frog Prince and everything. You have, you have uh, Transformers, you have Gobots, you have uh, Wonder Twins. What are some other transforming kind of, you got, you got your vampires and all that jazz and werewolves. Anybody can transform into like a wolf or a car or a, you know, whatever. But I'm going to be the first person to transform live in front of all of you and you and you into a quarter filled, about a quarter, 25% filled plastic jar of Wilton decorative confectionery sprinkles. Now that is something to see. Yes. And you used to be work for Wilton, right? Yes, I All did. Right. So that's why, you know, I was... Yeah. Okay. okay. I was like cake decorating for many years. Yes. So. And while I'm doing that, uh, I would like to sing another song. Cause, Cause, I'm also a singer, and I would like to sing the song that I'm writing right now, and it's called Magic. Oh, it's magical, it's mystical, it's magical, it's magical. It's mystical, it's magical and mystical. I'm going to turn into some Wilton sprinkles. I'm going to turn into some Wilton sprinkles because they're magic. And let's see. Ooh. Where did Harry go? Harry turned into sprinkles. He did. <laughs> so, this is Miss Eileen at Shaler North Coast Library with Who Is. I'm glad you were able to join us tonight.